enough is never enough. Arthur C. Clarke once said, the only way to discover the limits of the possible is to go beyond them into the impossible. Therefore, once again, I say, enough is never enough. So what's our video about today? So guys, today we wanna to do our introduction video and why we wanna give you the reason as to why you should subscribe to our channel. Um, first of all, we would like to uh, start by saying that we know that there are so many YouTube channels out there. There are people constantly giving uh, content every single day, every single minute someone is uploading a YouTube video on uh, YouTube. So why subscribe to ours? That is a good question. Yep. I'm not sure. Why would you subscribe to us? Well, so I feel like our background is a unique background. One, um, we are a multicultural uh, couple, right? Now your wife is from um, Kenya, she's African. I am Latino. My family is from Honduras and Uruguay, but I was born here in the United States. Yeah, so our background is in Kenya, Uruguay, and neuroscience, biochemistry, and my background is in biological sciences, specifically uh, biomedical sciences. And I personally, I want to use this platform to um, support and be like a champion for STEM programs, especially for women of color, for immigrant women, for young girls, or just any woman any age that is interested in going back to school and study biology or sciences or someone who's just willing and wants to learn more about STEM program. So, so help minorities basically, right? Yeah, mostly. There is space for you in this table. Yes. There's, um, there's a voice, you have a voice and you have the right to voice your opinion and to um, gain representation. Working in the lab, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh, well, yeah, I don't know of any um, black uh, graduate or undergraduate researchers. I know of one, um, one person who has achieved her doctorate, but then that's it. Just one person out of the whole lab. Um, of the Biodesign Institute at ASU. Yeah, uh, uh, I also did research for a while, for a few years, and in all the labs I was, mm -hmm. I was in two labs. The first lab, I was the only black person, mm -hmm. and I was the only black woman. Uh, although uh, biology courses typically have more women, but yes. the, the girls seem to drop out. And I don't know why that is. Um, I remember there was this one girl in my under in my biochemistry um, major, and but she dropped out. And I don't know. And in engineering, don't get me started. Engineering that has very few women, actually, which is surprising. Women are have, at least in my experience, they are really smart. They can be very intelligent. Um, very good at math and science however for some reason they don't progress down the stem fields and it's disappointing because um it could, we could have progressed more as a society if we we had supported women so we hope that this platform will be a source of inspiration motivation and encouragement to you out there that is eyeing something it could be anything it could be higher education it could be going to college it could be yeah, it's the same thing it could be just starting all over and you know figuring out your career which we are or i am specifically trying me too 
to figure out what I want to do with my career, with my degree, how do I want to progress along this path. I also believe I have a knowledge, I have a lot of knowledge and wisdom that I would like to share, especially to people in foreign countries that want to come to study in abroad, because I've gone through that process of applying, and you know, I know a few things that are needed to help you towards that direction. Yes. So if you have any questions, post them on the comment section. If you have any advice for other viewers. Post that to the comment section. We want the comments to be helpful and beneficial for uh, viewers of this channel, and for um, we want it to be kind of a community of uh, an uplifting community. Yes. Right. Yeah. We're just trying to lift up those who aren't at the level they should be. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have your own responsibility too. How? What are you contributing to society? How are you going to? I uh, use the knowledge, wisdom that the, whoever is supreme or that God has given you, how are you going to use that? I'm going to use those talents. Everyone has been given talents, just like for those who are religious and Christians. Um, it says that in the Bible, there's this parable of the ten talents where God gives one four, another one two, and another one one. And the one who had more invested and got more. But the one who thought that the one is so small that it's going to get lost or something is going to happen to it. He buried it. He buried it and nothing came out of that. Um. So, yeah. If you're interested in us, in our personalities or in just <laughs> watching this show. Uh, iron sharpens iron. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's really important. I grew up in uh, Kenya in a very, very small slum. And while going up there, I really came to realize that education is important. Education is one key that can help poor people move forward. Yes. You know, it doesn't mean going to college, it just means acquiring information because information is key. You have information, you have power. And that can really help you break bridges, break walls, I mean, build bridges. Um, and so growing up, I just came to realize how important this saying, iron sharpens iron. Mm -hmm. When you, you will just say kids that were people who were not sharp, people who did not value education, people who were into drugs and all that. They just fell, you know, they became thieves, they became drug addicts. Uh, some girls fell pregnant at a young age, 10, 12. Mm -hmm. um, but for those who um, like align themselves with people who are moving forward, you know, the ions, their iron will sharpen. They succeed. They succeeded going to college, finishing high school, building all these visions, coming up with all these businesses, dreams, entrepreneurship. Businesses and, uh, opening up all this new platform for more people to get jobs yes uh for more people to access information and um so do not forget that I am Shoot, iron. choose good friends Thank yeah. you. and shout out to daisuke all the way from japan alejandro Vicino. thank you for posting our video on your twitter and liking and yes. subscribing thank you so much and who's that? Alejandro Vicino. I know that, that he, he subscribed. I think... That's our recent subscriber. I think... Um, uh, Frankie might have subscribed. Uh, for those who, sub who left comments, we appreciate you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Um, one of those comments, I think it was Frankie. He posted that he would like to know how to say... Um, how do I find the nearest restroom? Say I really want to go to the restroom. How do I tell someone where is the nearest restroom? Where's the nearest restroom? Yeah, so because I can go pee. Uh, I think you can say um, Kuna vyo karibu. Kuna vyo karibu. Meaning, are there bathrooms near? Ah, there we go. That was... um, Kuna. Yes. Ba? Vio. Kuna vio? Vio is, is, 
how do you say it? What's the opposite of singular? Plural. Plural, yeah, it's plural. And singular is chore, so just just say bathroom. So okay. I think in most cases it will be chore. Konacho karibu. Yes. Konacho karibu. There you go, Frankie. If you need to use the restroom. And thank you so much for leaving that comment. Yes. So we hold through this platform that we will be sharpening you and you will also sharpen us so that we can go together. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Oh, like and subscribe, comment, dance, sing, whatever you want. <laughs>